Come up and also keep a very open mind to accept and work with new realities because your realities are going to change so fast. This course is not here to tell you, oh, as every friend does, this technology is very valuable experience or existence. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Everybody here says, I have a soul. There's no one person here, I think, hands up if you believe you don't have a soul. Families or your uh, acquaintances or colleagues that you work with, who has had a perfect right? Nobody. So why would the universe exclusively grant you, you know, a smooth ride? Anywhere, as you walk around this entire beautiful planet that you're born to, you need to develop your personal Creation will first take place in your brains and then creation will take place in the physical reality. First you have to dream it and then you have to experience it because you make it happen. The unfortunate part is so many of us are filled with so many things you would like to do. How do you, how do you translate any of that into your reality? And for that you will need skill sets. All kinds of amazing skill sets which you are going to learn today if you keep an open mind. Because some stuff in here is science, some stuff in here is meta-science, and it's a very healthy amalgamation of the two to show you how it works. So say for example, people tell you, oh you're stressed, let go ya. You're just saying, let go ya, forget it. How to let go? How to forget? How do you let go of what's made you young? The how-tos. This course is about the how-tos. How to do it. Why? Because they need to make you feel inferior about the color of your skin so that you go out there and buy feathered products. They have to make you feel ugly if you have a pimple on your face so that you go out there and buy your pimple creams. They make you feel fearful about getting that wrinkle so you will go out there and use anti aging products. Everything is a choice and it's a choice you make. And when you accept and take responsibility for the fact that even today where your life is at, is your choice and tomorrow wherever you go in life and whatever you bring into your life and behave, you say how when you've been brought up, etc. This is called your, seer, your social part of the seer programming. A girl in a mini skirt in a tiny village walks out in a tiny skirt because she sees a hero on screen wear it and she walks out and then suddenly says, Tummy's thing is, shut me up, the essay company venue. And suddenly this really, really scary. She's like, oh my god, it's filled with guilt, it's filled with shame, it's filled with all of that. You know, and this terrible association, negative association is now with trying to be bold and trying to, you know, make a statement and that mini skirt is a negative. Somebody in the city or a proactive, positive, open-minded environment, somebody in the Western world would wear a tiny skirt, the same tiny skirt and walk around, and everybody would say, oh my God, you look so good, and she feels so confident, and so wow, and she's like the it thing. Same skirt, two completely different reactions. But it shapes you to start thinking differently. And for the poor, for the uneducated, having money doesn't mean it's for you, it just means that when your well is full, others can drink from it. And it also means you are nourished. We have four programmings that you have, especially your seer programming. What an important part it plays in your life. Once you realize that, you'll hear you will be doing the theory of mind and energy. And when you learn how strong your subconscious mind is, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind,